Hello friend, in today's video, I will be talking about scaling, another feature of 2D transformation. According to scaling, the shape or a size of the object will be reduced without any distortion in its original form. So for that, I have designed this program and I have made use of a function which is customized and for that I have given the name as my scaling which will be taking four parameters as the position of the object. Uh, let's consider it to be a rectangle and then two scale factor as sx and sy. So let me run the program to show you that how the input is to going to be taken. So as I already said that the shape can be changed so there can be uh, increase in the shape or there can be uh, decrease in the shape of the original form. So let's take an object. So this is my starting coordinate x1 and y1 and the ending coordinate is of uh, x2 and y2. So this will result in, in, a, in a rectangle shape and this is formed with the helping of these two these four parameters which is pass and then the rectangle is given called with x1 y1 is the starting position and x2 y2 is the ending position of this object. Now it is asking me to enter the scale factor. So this scale factor will be deciding whether the object will decrease in shape or increase in shape. So let me show you both. So I will be taking the input in the fraction. So I have taken the variable in the double so that floating point can be included. So since I am taking point 2 as sx and point 3 as sy, before I hit the enter, this value will be taken in the variable uh, sx and sy and then I am giving a call to my customized function where I am passing the initial four parameters as a coordinate and then uh, the input of point 0.2 and point 0.3 is res respectively sent to sx and sy. Now I am going to multiply the initial s, uh, this is the initial x1, I have just changed the variable name with sx and a new x1 is generated in the same way y1 will multiply with sy to generate new y1. So this is the initial coordinate and the same way the, the ending coordinate will also need to be generated with the help of sx and sy. So these four coordinates will then be plotted into the rectangle so that we will be able to see the new rectangle that will be formed. Since I have taken the input in the form of a decimal, so obviously the output we are going to get is much more smaller in size than compared to the original object. Uh, as you can see over the initial values have been reduced down. So that means the dec there is a decrease in, in the coordinate. So this is the 20th column and 29th row. So this is the exact section where 20 and 29th is encountered and similarly 40 columns. So this would be the 40 column and 59 rows. So with the decimal point involved, the value uh, in the object will be reduced. Similarly, if I go for the next scaling where I will be using uh, the same initial coordinate which I took. So we will be able to see the same shape and now I am taking the input in the form of 1.2 and input in the form 1.3. Now the object will be much larger in context to the original object which was given. So same thing over here 1.2 is added is multiplied with uh, x1 and 1.1 with y1 and this 1.3 is multiplied with this x2 and this y2 so, and because of that we are getting new column for the origin so 119 and 130 is the column and row for this coordinate and 239 and 260 is a column and row of this particular coordinate so this is how the scaling has taken place whereby the object from the initial shape got transformed into a new shape which might be increased or decreased from the original shape so that's how my program comes to an end in my next video i would talk about the next transformation until then have a nice time